Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to do an experiment showing conservation of angular momentum. So angular momentum is the moment of momentum. So if I have a mass here, if this mass has a velocity, then I will have a momentum. And if this momentum is acting at a distance from the axis of rotation, which would be from my head to toe, then I will have angular momentum. Conservation of angular momentum is stating that if there is no moment acting on these masses or my body, then the total angular momentum has to be conserved. So in this experiment, I'm gonna stretch my arms, I'm gonna rotate, and then I'm gonna bring these weights closer to my body. If I bring these weights closer to my body, I'm decreasing the radius, so the angular velocity has to increase, so the angular momentum would be conserved. So I'm gonna rotate, then take my legs off the ground, and we're gonna see what happens. Let's go a little bit faster so you can see. Okay. Go back. Closer. And you can see the angular momentum works. That's what actually figure skaters do when they are performing. So they are stretching their arms when they want to reduce the speed and then when they want to increase their speed they bring their arms together and they sit down so they, they would increase their uh, so the angular momentum is constant but the angular velocity increased so i'm going to do the experiment this time with the heavier weights so does the weight matter here my body has an angular momentum and these weights are going to have angular momentum so the proportion of the angular momentum of these weights are going to be higher with respect to the previous weights. So the increase in speed is going to be even more pronounced when I reduce the, the radius, when I bring my arms together. So I should be rotating even faster. So let's try that. I'm going to rotate. can see it really works and then we can think of this as also conservation of energy kinetic energy for a rotating object is half i omega squared so i would be our inertia as i stretch my arms i'm increasing my inertia so the angular velocity decreases so the total uh, energy would be would be conserved and i'm going to bring these two weights closer to my body my inertia decreases so the angular momentum uh, angular uh, velocity increases for the conservation of energy and of course if I do that multiple times I have dissipation of energy loss of energy and then the velocity is not going to be as high as you know the initial velocity